This is a carbon plated racer that is unlike any that I've ever tried. It's zero drop and it has plenty of room for the toes. This is the Ultra Vanish Carbon and it will likely be the most underrated shoe of 2022. Twenty point one two miles for the long run for today with nine of those miles at marathon effort. And earlier in the week, I took this shoe out for a mile repeats workout six times, six minutes at threshold pace. A perfect way to round out my initial testing of the Ultra Vanish Carbon. Now, before I give my thoughts on this shoe, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a pair of shoes that I bought myself. No one sent it to me or is paying me to make this video. And no one's going to get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the Ultra Vanish Carbon. First, let's provide some context and talk about Ultra in case some of you guys aren't familiar. And I know not all of you guys are going to be. Ultra is known for basically two things. All of their shoes are zero drop, which means that the amount of stack height in the heel is the exact same as the amount of stack height in the forefoot. Most shoes have a little bit of a drop, so you're kind of like leaning forward in them a little bit. Ultra says, we're not gonna do any of that. We're gonna have what we call balanced cushioning and keep it the same in the front and in the back. But that's not to say that they are a minimalist shoe. They do have plenty of stack height in most of their shoes. And they also have foot shaped toe boxes. That means when you look at the shoe, the shoe is shaped like a foot. The idea idea being that the bigger toe box gives your feet more room to splay or stretch out as they normally would as they are hitting the ground and looking for ways to kind of balance your foot as it pushes off for that next foot strike. So those are kind of like the two main tenets of this running shoe company called Ultra. So let's talk more specifically about the Ultra Vanished Carbon. What is this shoe for? This is Ultra's first long distance speed shoe. Now, as far as stack height, it's got 33 millimeters of stack height. And remember, that's going to be the same both in the heel and in the forefoot. And in between kind of two layers of Ultra's Ego Pro Foam, there is a half carbon fiber plate and it's kind of like double fork. So it's kind of almost like a, a W shape that is going to be in this forefoot area of the shoe. As far as the outsole goes, it looks like there's a lot of rubber on this outsole, but actually it's a hardened EVA compound. So that's going to be a little bit different than most of the other companies that are out there that are using thin layers of rubber as their outsole traction on the upper they have a very comfortable very breathable mesh material in the forefoot and midfoot area and as you go further back it becomes more of a rubberized material here that is not quite as breathable and has a little bit of a bumper pad on the back of the heel and ankle to help keep this foot in place and as far as the foot shape goes it's definitely foot shaped and much wider than any other super shoe or carbon plated racer that i've run in in fact there was almost a little bit too much space in it altogether. I just felt like it was the completely wrong size when I put my foot in it. I felt like my foot only came up like really short as far as where the end of the toes fit inside the shoe. And I was wondering if maybe I had the wrong size, but once I started running, the regular size that I went with was the right size for me. And as far as weight goes, this shoe comes in at a total weight of 206 grams or 7.3 ounces. Now let's talk about whether this shoe is actually any good at being that long distance speed shoe that Ultra hopes this is. And let me tell you right off the bat, this shoe is excellent. I am very surprised by this shoe and is not what I was expecting at all. Looking at this shoe, this new Ego Pro Foam kind of looks and kind of squeezes in hand a lot like a lot of other Nitro Foams that I've seen on the market. Mainly looking at this, feeling it in hand, I was pretty sure that this was going to be almost exactly like the Brooks Hyperion Elite 2. But once I actually started running in this shoe, I very quickly realized that this is a very different kind of compound. It wasn't nearly as stiff as that Nitro Foam is. I'm not sure how they're achieving it because it doesn't look or feel like it's going to be a very squishy shoe, but yet I felt like it was very comfortable in this forefoot area. And now this forefoot area also 
like threw me for a loop because it doesn't feel like it's a zero drop shoe. It doesn't look like a zero drop shoe, but I think that's kind of like the optical illusion that they're going for because they have the stack height in the heel and then they usually have like a little bit of a guide rail system going on each side of the shoe that curls up a little bit to help keep the foot in place and that curl up leads to a curl down which makes it look like the shoe is kind of slanted downward plus there is a little bit of a rocker geometry in the front and all together what i felt like i was getting in this shoe was kind of like a pretty standard like four or five millimeter heel drop so i felt like i was a little bit tilted forward and then once i got to kind of like past the arch it felt like there was a significant drop in the shoe and i was sitting much lower down so it kind of felt like it was a little bit of a slant and then a scoop that kind of threw me for a loop because i really wasn't sure what that was going to be like once i got the shoe up to speed but once i did the shoe really started to come together i think the best single word that i could use to describe the shoe is that it was incredibly smooth it wasn't like a powerful shoe like a shoe that when you hit the ground it bounces you forward or shoves you forward i felt like this shoe was more like an oar cutting through water or a really powerful swim stroke where it just feels like it's slicing through it just felt like i was gliding or dancing right over the pavement there's like a raw yet refined quality to each foot strike raw in the sense that i'm definitely getting a sense of power from it and it's a little bit finicky too because i feel like i really have to make sure i'm running a little bit more cleanly than sometimes my foot strike otherwise tends to be but the reward for that kind of paying extra attention to each foot strike is the fact that once you hit it right you just get that sense of smoothness and it just feels so effortless. Kind of like when you're hitting a baseball or like a tennis ball or a racquetball, when you hit that sweet spot, it just kind of glides through everything and the impact and the force coming off of that impact is just really smooth and it doesn't feel jarring at all. And that's exactly what I'm getting from the Ultra Vanish Carbon. When my foot hits the ground correctly, I feel effortless power and it's kind of like uh, a little bit of like a dopamine hit every time you do it right you're like ooh, that was really nice let's see if I could do it again and so as I'm going through yes I'm spending a little bit of mental energy trying to make sure I'm hitting the ground in a clean way but the reward for that is a very smooth and powerful foot strike in return I think that there's a couple of things that are contributing to that sense of smooth power and one of it is definitely this ego pro foam i'm really impressed with it it doesn't feel like it's like squishing down and compressing really fast like some of the other super foams that are out there so it's not going to give me that like vaporfly next percent kind of feel it's not going to give me that metaski sky plus type of feel to it but it's giving me a nice squish but also like a bounce back without it feeling jarring in any way whatsoever. So like my foot hits the ground and before I can even realize the fact that I didn't feel like it was jarring, I didn't feel like there was impact, my foot's already off the ground and pushed powerfully into the next stride. So everything is just working really fluidly, really smoothly in this shoe. Uh, and it's really exciting to be able to work with this foam. That half carbon fiber plate, uh, I was a little bit concerned about that initially, but in this shoe, I feel like I'm getting a sense of that carbon in there, not only at my marathon pace, but also for my threshold pace when I was doing mile repeats. Even when I'm working a lot harder, the shoe isn't bottoming out. I feel like I'm still getting more and more from it. And I think that's where the carbon is really starting to help come into play. Cause as I'm hitting the ground harder, the shoe still feels very stable. And I also feel like I'm getting a nice launch pad to push off of as I'm getting into the next stride. So the way that this forefoot is all working together is just absolutely seamless and really exciting to be able to run with. The other thing that I think is really unique about this shoe is that I feel like I'm getting a lot of Achilles loading in a good way. Because there's a little bit of a rocker and because I'm a midfoot, forefoot striker, I feel like as my foot hits the ground, the back of my heel is coming down and kind of loading that Achilles. And then as I'm pushing off, it springs back forward. And so like, yes, there's spring in the foam and some help with that in the carbon, but I also think there's some natural spring in that Achilles tendon. And so that I feel like is happening in a positive way as my foot hits the ground, the Achilles gets loaded and then it releases as well in concert with all the other materials in this shoe. And so that's where I feel like the alignment and making sure your foot strike is a little bit cleaner really helps because then it helps 
get that kind of natural anatomy working in a positive way with the shoe, which is a very, for me, a very unique feeling. It's not something that I get with a lot of other carbon plated racers that are out there. And the other thing is, of the Marathon Super Shoes that I've tried, I think this is probably one of the best at easy paces too. So for those of you who are going to be doing long runs, kind of like I do long runs where I might have 20 miles or 16 miles or however long your run is, and then within that I might have a block of marathon effort miles, I feel like this is a fantastic shoe to bring along because it's gonna be good at both the easy miles and the workout miles as well. So a really comfortable shoe all around at a wide range of paces, which is highly unusual for a shoe in this category. Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about before in this video today is why I think it's gonna be the most underrated shoe of 2022. It's gonna be the most underrated because I think it's an ultra. And so it comes with all the ultra kind of like baggage, I guess, where people kind of stay away from it because it kind of looks funny with the foot shaped toe box and the foot bone shaped outsole. And it doesn't look as flashy or as pretty as some of the other super shoes that are out there. I mean, I think for an ultra, I think this looks fantastic and I really love the design. I think that they nailed it with this one, but I think it's not going to appeal to quite as many people as some of the other racing super shoes out there. A very superficial reason to not buy or try a racing shoe, but I think that's just the way that it's going to end up for a lot of people. And I think all of that's unfortunate because I think this is a fantastic shoe and I think it's going to work for a lot of people of a variety of different skill levels and speeds. And I really hope that I'm wrong on this by the end of the year, that it isn't an underrated shoe and that it kind of gets the attention that it deserves. But I just think that because it just doesn't look like all the other ones, I think it's just not going to get the attention that it needs. So if you have any other questions about the Ultra Vanish Carbon, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Or better yet, stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. I'd love to see you guys in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of this video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs. And I will see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?